earliest ancestors evolved in Africa from the primates and spread out all over the world. According to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy is always increasing. Everything is slowly losing its distinctiveness and becoming more and more chaotic. That's only true on the largest scale. On the small scale, counter to the increase of entropy, we evolve. Over the millennia, we build societies. We invent language, philosophy, art, and science. Galileo builds his first telescope. He sees mountains on the moon, the phases of Venus, the moons of Jupiter, and the stars in the Milky Way. Isaac Newton realizes that gravitational force accounts for falling bodies on Earth as well as the motion of the planets in orbit around the Sun. This realization extends the principles of earthly behavior to the realm of the heavens. Albert Einstein recognizes the speed of light as the absolute speed limit within the universe and unites the previously separate concepts of space and time into a unified space-time. General relativity replaces Newton's model of gravitational force. Gravity is now understood as the response of bodies to distortions in space-time which matter itself creates. Edwin Hubble discovers that the universe is expanding in all directions. This shows that the universe is not static, but dynamic, continually changing, continually evolving. We know now that our galaxy is one of perhaps a hundred billion, with each galaxy itself containing millions, billions, even trillions of stars. Scientists working in New Jersey discover the cosmic background radiation that bathes the Earth from all directions in space. Imagine that, New Jersey. This radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang. A 12-ton telescope equipped with a 94-inch mirror is sent into orbit by astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. Evidence gathered with the Hubble Space Telescope suggests that the universe will probably expand forever. Or at least, anyway, that the universe won't re-collapse for at least 10 billion years. By that time, assuming that we haven't evolved as a species and colonized well beyond our solar system, Humanity will long since have died out, extinguished along with our sun. The words of Carl Sagan ring truer than ever. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that there is anyone who will come and save us from ourselves. The new Cosmic Background Explorer satellite is used to measure in detail the spectrum of the cosmic microwave background radiation. The results show that the radiation is in nearly perfect agreement with the Big Bang model of the birth of creation. At last, the Big Bang theory is confirmed.